Hello everybody, this is Alice Photoshop and I'm going to teach you how to make the normal sphere abstract animation in uh, After Effects that I use in my promos and uh, things like that. So I'll just go right here, new composition, um, make it 10 seconds, whatever like you want. I, I usually use 10 seconds. If you want a long promo, make it like 25 seconds, but for an intro, just make it 10 seconds. It's the basic. Uh, go new, solid, make it whatever color you want, and then go to effects and presets choose ramp and then dra drag it down here and go to radial ramp and then choose the first one um if you like white or like light gray and then choose this one to be dark gray because it's sort of a nice gradient look to it and you know mess around with the piece that you want and then just make um click over here just get rid of it and go to the eclipse tool make an eclipse make a sphere whatever you want to call it circle Cancel out the stroke. Um, choose whatever color you want. For now, I'm just gonna choose dark red, or actually, I'm gonna make it dark, dark gray. <coughs> and I'm just gonna scale it down a little bit. Uh -huh. There we go. Yeah. Make sure you always have um, the motion, motion blur on. This will add. This will make nice, nice blurs to add to it. And yeah. Now after we've got the sphere, you want to duplicate it, control D, drag it under it, and then hold up. First you want to turn the opposite, uh, opacity of this down, uh, press T, and then just drag it up there to add this nice effect to it. Just want to start scaling it down, make it look like a nice sur uh, circle, sorry. I'm just cutting like a motherfucker, but whatever. Um, once you got to fit it, Easy way is probably press S and scale it down. There we go. So it's not perfect. So sorry, it's just for tutorial purposes only. And then you want to make sure to move the circle thing, the arc, whatever you want to call it. Put it in the middle, like right in the middle. Choose this one. Make it sure, make sure like smell. When you select both of them, click uh, S and then just scale it down. And make sure that it scales down in the middle. And then see right now they're not equal on the same side. So want to choose this one. So try to make it fit. Hold up. So this one is right in the place we want it to be, and this is not. So just and move this one a little bit and uh, <coughs> uh, there we go that's basically what we want right now and then scale it down kind of scale down the same place and what we're going to do is just like in the, if you're wondering what kind of animation I'm talking about that's I'll show you right now go to my channel <coughs> I'll look at this for, for example like that, or look at the Supremo Arts intro, intro I made. It looks like this, and it's pretty nice, pretty simple. And then your link comes on, or you can add whatever you want in the second text. <coughs> and thank you actually for 190 subscribers. And thanks to Mr. Ozolator, I don't know how to pronounce his name, he's a member of GFX HUD, and yeah, for your helping me reach his subscribers. So it's pretty nice. 10 seconds, nice motion blur to it. Supreme Arts. Alright, so I guess we got it there. You can choose the background you want or whatever. And then, so there we go. And then make sure your motion blur is on. And then select both of them. Select actually the first one. And both of them actually. Um, the keyframe scale it all, uh, scale all the way down. Zero, so it's gone, and then keyframe it and select them both again. And then see, they've gone actually, and it looks good. And then maybe at two seconds, scale it up, and then scale the other one up. Hold up, scale this one up. Boy, what the fuck happened? Oh, 
What the fuck? Alright, sorry guys. Scale this one up. So now, if you go back, it looks like this. And then, if you want to add the bounce effect to the middle circle, it's pretty simple. You just go like move a little bit farther and then scale it down. And then scale it up. So now it looks like a bounce effect. Like, boop. That's basically it. And if you want to add the, uh, the cube or the rectangle inside, just go on the rectangle tool. Um, make whatever color you want. So I'm just going to use the same colors. Dark gray. If you want to add stroke, whatever you want. And make it like this color. So I'm talking about the stroke. Don't ask. Alright, so I want a stroke. Get this kind of color so it kind of fits the image we're using right now. So it kind of has like this, it looks like it's cutting through it. If you want to make it bigger, it's your choice. You know, it's going to be your animation. Do whatever you want with it. And then basically, that's what we got. And move the uh, little circle thingy, make it shrink in the middle. And then you go on the size, scale. S. Uh, you want to make sure to turn this one down, the little clippy thingy, and then size it down to zero, like that. So it's gone, and then just keyframe it. So keyframe it. And then about right here, when it finishes bouncing, like right here, about three seconds. At three seconds, when we'll go like one second, then we'll go like that. So now it goes like this. Uh, make sure motion blur is on again. And play it again. This is not real, not real time. And <clears throat> if you wonder why it's so quiet and the mic I'm using, it's because I'm using my laptop's mic. Cause my computer's mic is not working currently until I buy one. And yeah, and I can't do any uh, modeling in Cinema 4D anymore, like animation, because my power supply is broken. So I'm using the old power supply in my old graphic card. I go and like render normal intros I can make, and yep. So it's got a nice little abstract thingy going on, and then on text, <coughs> just make new text, call it whatever you want. Like your text here, or just call it YouTube. Put in the circle, and this is where you have to move this one in, and put it in the middle. And choose the font you want. So, um, huh? Can't remember the font I uses. I use that much. Um, just gotta find the font. Sorry, guys. Um, So this is what I'm trying to use right now. There. This is a free, uh, uh, free text, free fonts you can get. And if you want to add a ramp to it, add a little gradient look to it. Add it, mess around with the colors. I got a nice look to him stuff. Okay, all right. And that's basically it. Goes right. so, like that. It's pretty nice. Pretty simple. Pretty simple thing to do. Okay. Nice. Wait a second. All right. Um. It's back to where we. Uh, so, okay. YouTube off. And when this happens, okay, so look off. So basically, we got the basic animation we want, and then go to, go to the YouTube. If you want to add the decoder, fade in, and then I, I'll go to a nice fade in into it. Future, it's your name. Like you and then put fades in if you want it. But well, we're not gonna choose this right now. Just find what we want. Fade in. Search fade. Um, the one I like actually. Fade up characters. This is pretty nice. Look at that. 
is sick. And I'll cancel it and then make sure you have your uh, thing that you move for the timeline. You know, after this square is the rectangle is finished, put it on YouTube with fade up characters. So it starts from there. You got calm. If you want to animate the other uh, sphere, it comes around. That comes out like that and changes the whole color, like right now. And then, yeah, that's basically it. So you just want to duplicate this layer. Control D and then just drag it under it. And then, so go on scale again and just delete the keyframes for this. There we go. And then go on that, find where it finishes, and scale this one down to zero. Keyframe it. And where everything changes, find it there. Okay, the name probably finishes right there, and then put the keyframe there. And then just put it one second ahead, and then just move it up. There we go. And then put motion blur on. <coughs> so, we got a pretty nice effect to it right now. Just look at this. Just gotta do the number check to it. And then. Can't mess around with the animation. This is not gonna be good as for you buy it, but this is just for tutorial purposes. Um, please understand that. And if you want to add a little glossy effect, just go make a new sphere, clips to a circle, and make it white, and then go turn turn down the opacity. And got a glossy effect going on there. So just go up and then just move it off if you want. And right there. A little nice glossy effect to it. Make sure you get rid of the stroke because I'll oh, fuck everything up. Just like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Just like that. And then, you know, if you want the text to change right now, just make a new black screen and then add it. So if you want your URL, make a new solid. Um, or if you want to make like a normal thing that will go up and it says your name, you can do that if you want. I'll just go new solid, make it black. And now go on, press T. And find, um, press opacity down for that one. Over here. And keyframe it. Like right there. Make it zero. Move it up a little bit and then keyframe it to 100. I mean, um, about 20% or 40, actually 40. So it has a nice fade to it and then. <coughs> Enter your URL, URL like youtube.com slash ls photoshop you know there we go so just got a name in there choose the main colors of it you can change around the opacity but I usually like about like 60% like that so it just has a nice fade to it and then Choose so maybe the color to like blue, whatever you want. Like light blue. If uh, just uh, tell me what you want for the next tutorial to do, I'll do it for you. Um, so right now it's so it fades in and then YouTube. And then we should. YouTube.com, real circle, and then this fades in. Yeah. So, those are the memory check. Okay, so, let's just, um, since this animation is pretty slow right now, just move the uh, keyframes to about right here. And then just, how about like that, yeah. Alright, so just go to this one and then find where the black starts. And then add another fade in. So move the arc, whatever you want to call it. Call it the arc because I call this, maybe you want to call it scope, whatever you want to call it. But still, you deal with the names. And then you can just put random, whatever you want to put up there. Cut the little random thingy on on. And then it ends. Well, so there's um, let's go 
I'll move this one a little bit as far as we have more time. Right there and put the random there. Alright, so. Um, so we're just gonna competition settings. Uh, make it 12 seconds. So this is gonna be a long promo or intro. Now we got enough time. Just scale all everything up to 12 seconds to match the timeline. So nothing fucks up and shit. Okay, so everything is cool right now. So we got that, and uh, what you want to do is like add little transitions, cool shit like that. So close the rectangle tool, make it black. Sorry, sorry. We can use square. I thought I have the size. Then make it black. Then uh, control. D, move it down like that and then <clears throat> what you want to do is rotate them Sorry about that. Okay. So, um, go to the first one, remove the clip thing. I'm gonna put the anchor point to right here so when you scale it down, it scales up on there. And then has a nice cool transition to like a cut transition. I want to scale it down from so scale it down so in 10 seconds you want it from 11 to 12 so this is going to be the scale right there I'll move it right here and then just scale it all the way so it looks like a transition and then right here so do the same thing move the anchor point Alright, so I just want to scale this one down. Put the keyframe right here. Scale right there. So add whatever music you want to it, so I don't really care. It's your animation, change the colors around. But this is just a basic animation. You can do the abstract and and then just the blink and then the transition like let's see it again there we go that's basically it please subscribe for more tutorials and tell me what you want else for the other tutorial thank you bye